so hello friends in this video we are going to learn about how to design flange with the help of pipe data pro so here i am opening the pipe data pro here you can get all details about the flanges types of flanges welded neck flange slip on flange blind flange threaded flange socket weld flange lap flange long welding neck flange so these are the types of flanges available and here as you can see here there are the sizes half inch three fourth one inch two three four these are the sizes and this is class 300 150 400 and this is rf raised flange and this is the schedule 30 schedule 60 standard so these are the types of standards available here so with respect to your need your requirement you can get the information about the particular uh, product so here in menu uh, flanges so if you go in flanges here it is written asme b 16.5 which we uh, use we are going to use and there are other types also here also you can see uh, according to your requirement you can use it so after that uh, in fittings butt welded fitting threaded fitting socket weld fitting stavish and pipe nipples so here also you can see the drawing the measurement 6 inch nps butt weld bw 45 degree elbow schedule it is standard so here you can get the data about the product also the diagram is there so with the help of this you can draw in autocad okay so again go to the menu here you can get the gasket non-metallic spiral wound gasket ring joint gasket so according to your need you can get it valves flange butt weld threaded socket weld so yeah you can see the diagram the measurement also the details that size class type everything is mentioned here and also the pipe data is also there pipe by schedule by wall thickness as you can see this is 6 inch nps standard schedule pipe the weight is given and here you can see the measurements with the help of this you can just easily draw in autocad so uh, let's start with the flange asme b 16.5 flange uh, let's start with this only half inch nps uh, welded neck flange 300 class raised flange schedule 30 so here is the diagram given so with reference to this diagram we are going to start in autocad so let's start the autocad drawing so open the autocad drawing so here you can see uh, below it is written stirred bolt size also the stirred bolt size is half inch unc or m14 65 long so this will be uh, useful for the the data will be useful in biome preparation you have to mention it according to which uh, size and uh, here also it is mentioned that four holes are present and the diameter is 5 by 8 inch dia so this all things will be important for the biome preparation uh, stud bolt size and how much required quantity four holes so according to that the stud will be four and then not the bolt will be accordingly it is mentioned here the long measurement all everything so let's start with the autocad drawing minimize it so that both we can use so yeah, before starting the autocad drawing just check the units u n enter unit so check the units here it is mm okay if not then please change it according to your requirement so here we are going with the mm 
decision you just try to keep it uh, after point four the welded neck flange so starting from the bottom it is 34.9 given so from the center we will divide it so open the calculator divide by 2 17.45 so autocad l enter for line see ortho mode off so it is uh, off so turn it on by pressing f8 17.45 enter zoom it okay escape again l enter make a straight line mirror it it is the so snow we need it okay now diameter so we have to check the length so dim l linear dimension so it is 34.9 so again click here l enter from the end point to and then up okay so again 66.7 divided by 2 33.35 so again l enter Thirty three point three five enter escape again mirror it again check the dimension D I M L enter always try to use the shortcuts it will be helping you to enhance your drawing skills okay 66.7 we got it so now next 95 divided by 2 47.5 again l enter 47.5 again go upward it is 12.7 enter okay escape so mirror this to so again check the dimension this end to this end 95 okay Okay, join from this end to this end. Okay. So now starting from the top, it is sixteen point four eight point four eight divided by two eight point two four. So from the center. So draw a line I'll enter from the base to the top it is 53 as you can see and here as you can see it is 16.48 the distance is total but divided by 2 because we are taking it from the center so it is 8.24 
so again down 53 escape so now we have to mirror it delete the unwanted lines so now again dimension linear 16.48 so now next dimension we have to take is from the center 21.3 divided by 2 10.65 so again make a line and enter 10.65 escape mirror it dimension 21.3 it has shown from this base also it is 51 and from here base to the top it is 53 as you can see so now left with this portion So again, 38 divided by 2, 19, so draw a line and enter, escape, so now from this point I'll enter ortho mode of F8 so now we don't know the exact so press tab and just put the degree it is 37.5 so here we got press enter so now we know that this length is going from 21.3 so draw a line from here and enter straight line ortho mode f8 on escape and then draw a straight line from 38 also so I'll enter till here so now the diameter it is given 5 by 8 inch dia so we have to google it for the mm so google it so it is showing 15.88 so now make a line and enter this is the center 66.7 so from here this is the center line so 
the diameter is divided by 2 7.94 so draw a line go down 12.7 enter escape mirror So this was the center. As you can see, fifteen point eight eight. Center line. You can change the properties by right clicking properties here line scroll down center point one escape so as you can see it is showing center line now just match properties enter so take this properties this is a center line this is also a center line now here trim tr double enter trim the unwanted part escape so for this part the length is not given so for practice let's assume a random number and just complete the drawing so I'll enter so from here ortho mode off uh, let's assume here uh, let's take 7 enter and from 7 just try to join this line escape delete this So now trim tr double enter now here we have to copy mirror it dimension angle so a angular from here to here so it is 37.5 here it is showing 38 so you can change it from d enter modify uh, here you can change the text height color here also arrow size you can change it according to your convenience primary units so precision is there so here you can change it according to your convenience as you can see it is showing more than two digits so the requirement is only two as you can see 16.48 so i am keeping it after point two digits so here dimension in degree degree in minutes second precision 37.5 so after point there is one 
so it will be shown now okay set to the current close so 37.5 it is showing so rest uh, this line we are going to delete it So draw a line from here okay escape mirror so now I'm just doing the adjustment. H, H enter. You can change the pattern according to your convenience. Okay. scale again h enter okay h enter if you change the scale it will 0.5 okay so now you can see the lines are nearby So here also H enter and you can also change the angle example 90 see now it is showing this side so now I am trying to make it same match property okay L E Okay. so now add the text t enter for whole Control all five by eight dia ortho mode off move it so now left with this dimension okay so there is a thickness of 1.6 draw a line from here 1.6 random line so tab the angle is 37.5 escape tr double enter
so always try to use your mouse on the right side right hand and left hand try to control the keyboard the shortcuts press l escape all and just try to focus just try to memorize the shortcuts it will be helpful for uh, increasing the speed of your activities in the autocad so that's all thank you